Hello and welcome to another episode of Pingcast. Today's episode is about gnome shell themes. I'm going to show you in the advanced settings how to change the theme, then I'm going to show you where to get more themes and how to install them. So first, go to your menu, search for advanced settings, and open it up. And go to shell, no, theme. Now here you have shell theme, and you can toggle different shell themes. Your window theme, if you change it, you have to bring up the run prompt with Alt-F2 and type in R, then hit enter. It'll restart the shell, and then you'll have your new window theme. You have cursor themes, a key binding I haven't really messed with, icon themes, and GTK themes. Now you'll get the shell theme from shell themes and you'll get the icon GTK plus and all that from GTK3 themes. So to get more themes, open up a web browser. Go to gnome-look.org. Gnome shell. and just look for a theme you like. Download it. Save it. I'm going to save in downloads. If it doesn't start, then click the click here. And then you can go ahead and click downloads, or um, some of them redirect you to another page. Just go to that page and just download it there. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it downloaded. I'll just check my downloads folder. Yep, it downloaded. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click it, click open with Archive Manager, click Extract. Then, go to your, uh, well actually, here in Location, you can type in tilde, which is Shift and then the key above tab and to the left of one. Or if you don't want to type tilde, you can type in dollar and then home in caps. But, uh, I like just sticking with tilde, it's less the type. Slash dot themes. And just the, the themes directory. Then you just click on extract. And once extract, you click, click close. And just bring up your advanced settings again. Uh, if you had it open the whole time, you might need to close it then open it up again to kind of, you know, refresh the list. Let's see, let's go back to themes. And hey look, a Dwight Mint is there now. And, as I said, the rest is controlled by GTK3, so let's search for a GTK3 theme. Same method as before. Here we are, ambience light. Uh, 
I'm not going to restart the shell because I've done that with GTK Record My Desktop and it's crashed it before, so I'll just mess around with let's see, the icon thing. Do we get any? I'll just pick a random one. Yeah, ambience light. See? I, I kind of like the new color of the docking ink here, though. That's pretty neat. And it's got the orange going, too. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's how you install themes. Just go to the website, download, extract it just as I showed you, and then go to advanced settings and just uh, toggle your shell theme, your window theme, icon, GTK theme, all that. Just if you change the window theme, you're going to have to restart the shell in order to see the changes take effect. Alright, that's this episode of Pincast. Stay tuned for another one.